One of the biggest questions about the Batman 2 is the villain. Who's going to be the villain of this movie? Or should I say villains? Because, of course, the first movie, sure, we had the Riddler as the main villain, but we also had the Penguin. We also had Catwoman. The Joker showed up. So there's a lot of possibilities with this film. And there's been so many rumors, so many theories from Mr. Freeze to Clayface to Hush. It's been all over the place. And after the Batman first came out on HBO Max, because I unfortunately did not get to see it in theaters, but it came out on HBO Max, I watched it for the first time, and then I put out this video. This video right here, this is the exact thumbnail, I highly recommend going and checking it out, it's actually a pretty good video, um, in my opinion. Uh, of course it is, because you know I made it, but uh, it's all talking about what I want from the Batman Part 2, what I would like to see in this sequel, and one of the things I talked about was Two-Face. Not really Two-Face specifically, but more so Harvey Dent in general, because when you look at what happened in the first Batman movie, the DA exploded. Like, it's the position is opened. It's the perfect opportunity to introduce Harvey Dent, have him come in, become the new district attorney, and whether that means he'll actually become Two-Face in this movie or not, it, it might be nice to just have him introduced, become the new DA, and just lay the groundwork for maybe that Two-Face transformation later on down the line in either a third or fourth movie or maybe one of these various spin-off series on HBO Max. Now, the other thing with that, though, is that a lot of people would be saying that, like, oh, we they're just repeating too much from the Nolan trilogy. And that's that's fair, but I feel like they could definitely do a new take and a new version of Two-Face and Harvey Dent within this new world of Gotham City. Now, there is actually a rumor going around now from Jeff Snyder, who, of course, fairly reliable source, just put out a scoop saying that uh, we got a couple actors that are in talks to play Harvey Dent in the Batman Part 2, one of which being Joel Edgerton, who I think would be amazing for this role. I mean, he's got the look, he's got the charisma, he's got also the, I think, the aggressiveness and brutality that he could he could easily play both sides of the coin of Two-Face. Um, and Harvey Dent, I think he, uh, you know, he looks like he would be a good DA. I think he's a great actor. Uh, so I would personally really enjoy this casting choice. The, uh, the other actor, according to Jeff Snyder, that is also in talks, or at least in the running for Harvey Dent, is uh, jo Josh Hartnett, uh, who is an actor I'm not familiar with. Um, I haven't seen any of his work, although he is apparently in the upcoming Oppenheimer movie that's coming out this summer. Uh, speaking of Christopher Nolan, um, so I'll see him in that movie, I guess. Uh, but he also um, is around the same age, and I feel like just based on looks, he, he'd probably make a fairly decent Harvey Dent. Although, again, just because I know Joel Edgerton better and I'm more familiar with his work, I, out of the two choices, I definitely prefer him. Uh, but I think Two-Face is a great character introducing this franchise because, again... Um, just Harvey Dent specifically, you can just start out at that point. Um, I doubt that if we do get Harvey Dent in here, that he will actually be the main villain. Again, we've heard rumors about a clay face or a hush or a Mr. Freeze, maybe a scarecrow. So who knows who the main villain will be, but just introducing Harvey Dent and laying the groundwork there. I think it was a great adaptation and a great version of the character in the dark Knight. but imagine that but with more breathing room because the only problem with that is that you like it was a great take on Harvey Dent but he didn't even become Two-Face until the end of the movie and then just got killed off fairly quickly so they could really drag this out and build it up over time and that's something that I'm a huge fan of and clearly Matt Reeves is really into that idea as well uh with this whole universe that he's building out with not only this uh trilogy slash franchise but also the various spinoffs on HBO Max or, or Max as well. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the idea of Harvey Dent and maybe Two-Face, but at least Harvey Dent appearing in the Batman Part 2, as well as these possible casting choices of either Josh Hartnett or Joel Edgerton? And if you have any other uh, casting ideas, let me know down in the comments below as well. I know there's some great fan art of Oscar Isaac that I showed earlier in the video. That is a casting choice I would not mind either. I mean, he's already doing great at Marvel. Why not bring him over to DC as well? So anyways, guys... Thanks for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the DC life.